The GCAM 7.4 from developer Pirate is out and it's not much different from GCAM 7.3. Of course, it came out yesterday evening, so I've been testing it out since yesterday. There are other GCAM 7.4 out there, but since uh, this one is the one that works on my device, let's go take a full review of GCAM 7.4. Hey, welcome back again to Smart Depart. You know how we do it. Just hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon because our giveaway will soon come and uh, you don't want to miss that. So let's go into GCAM 7.4 by Developer Pirate. What's inside? I mean, um, it's not the interface. Let's start from the interface. It's just the same thing like GCAM 7.3. So from the camera right now, let's check out. There is not much difference here. The motion, the auto white balance and all the stuff let's go to portrait still almost the same thing but uh there's the face retouch hdr auto white balance also there's timer uh it's just like gcam 7.3 um, but now in the astrophotography there is astrophotography of auto and on there is timer there is exposure man this one is very very good uh, you can actually set exposure even but for night side and um, for astrophotography and get the best now when it comes to the video now this is where it becomes very very interesting this is where the refinements that show in the toggle for full hd and 4k is on top uh, uh, if you put it to uh, there's also that external microphone which is very 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 important and beautiful once you plug in a microphone uh, if you switch to uh, 4k it will move to 30 frames per, per second to my device Remi x2 so let's look at the recorded video the full hd recorded video is completely full hd as you can see now the resolution 180 by 1920 and it is a 30 that's 30 frame per second the 4k is purely 4k recording as you can see from the details and it's also 30 frame per seconds for my device realme x2 so um that's it you can toggle the 4k it moves automatically to 30 frame per seconds and auto is also 30 frame per second there is no slow motion uh, in this new uh, one but i believe it will come out in the other one that comes out so let's look at the picture you know taking pictures with this one and uh, the picture quality is very 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 good you know there's nothing to be shy about when it comes to taking picture with this the quality is pure is refined and uh, i feel this one is good for taking pictures even the video the video was just great and the, the, the quality was good um, but the main problem with this one uh, have to do with portrait and hdr i'm going to explain more about that right after this but the picture quality is good detail color accuracy uh, real to life you know everything here this kind of indoor picture but it looks quite good and it's good so but when we come to the portrait right now um uh the portrait takes picture that looks like raw images so you might probably need to do some edits <laughs> on that one uh as you can see even outside the hdr the same thing is also applicable to hdr where you take pictures and hdr is like this um so make sure you subscribe because in the next video i'm going to show you advanced setting on how to change something uh that that is looking raw to reach you know straight away from where you take the picture as you can see this is the normal picture without portrait and the quality is good as you can see the the details is good uh, if you zoom in you also get to see that right now here yeah, this uh, record this one from workplace the front camera uh, is good the, the quality of the picture this you know low light indoor is very cloudy today and the quality of the picture is very 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 good but one of the problem that we have on this one is also the portrait if you take portrait picture even for the front camera uh, you still have to do some tweaking so we're going to go into the setting next and show you where you can tweak you see it's not that sharp and bright but the the portrait uh, is good uh, the edge detection every other thing is, is is very very fine so let's go into the settings so this is the general setting you will see um from location you know hints uh, social share gesture grid 
advanced. So let's go to the advanced. Um, there's HDR control, focus tracking. Uh, if you want to track an image while you are, you know, moving this brightness, there is a uh, disable Google zoom in portrait. You can actually, you know, change that so that portrait mode can be a little bit wider. So there is no uh, configuration uh, capacity in this one yet, uh, but of course there is our HDR enhanced frames. Uh, see, you can set it to auto if you want. There's Saber uh, function. There is also setting for exposure in front camera. So this is where you actually tweak to have that brightness, even in portraits, um, the exposure speed. And then these also the auto wide balance for the front camera where you can actually, you know, tweak uh, that. There is also exposure composition. This one is very, very good. I use it most time in night for night side. And then there is leap hatcher. So this is just the setting. So make sure you subscribe because I'm going to do a, a full advanced setting for this Gcam 7.4 from Parrot. So it was a rainy night yesterday night and I had to go outside to, you know, take some astrophotography, night sight, and let's see. The night sight is about two seconds, but the picture quality it gives for that two seconds is just unbelievable, as the default is two seconds. But as I've showed you earlier, you can change that. That's the normal picture. That's the night sight for two seconds. So let's go out and see. Oh, man, it's so cloudy. Um, can we get a good astrophotographic picture? I don't think so. So this is the setting, auto, and... The auto is about uh, 153 seconds uh, that it takes to capture light. So that's what you're going to do and it will, you know, kind of see the image. So the image is quite, you know, interesting and impressive uh, in the night's uh, astrophotography. So let's go and do one or two more on astrophotography and this is uh, the tick night this is pure night but it can turn night into day and it's interesting because this is the night this is astrophotography and this is the way it turns it so this is the the roma camera let's see the picture i took this is the night complete midnight and then we took uh, the next level to uh, two seconds of night sight which is not bad and then uh, uh, 153 seconds of astrophotography this is normal picture and then this is the night sight it is very very good i just want you to check this out and uh, let me hear from you in the comment section what you think about gcam 7.4 by parrot and i'll see you in the next video subscribe i'll see you